This one kind of has a ball right there that kind of fits right in the palm of your hand. Hey folks, that fix it guy here, fresh off of the 10,000 subscriber live stream, right? Where we gave away 10 channel lock screwdrivers. Well, right after that, I went and checked my mail and guess what? Three weeks late, we got a professional channel lock six and one, right? So two different kinds of six and ones now. Well, I wanted to do this video before those came out because I wanted to compare and see what I liked better. And we would talk about it on the live stream. But guess what? <laughs> that didn't happen. So <laughs> today I'm going to do a little comparison for you. I'm going to show you the code blue that I always use. I've done a video on this before, but I want to compare it to this new, to me, professional six in one, right? This is something that channel lock does as well. Made in the USA. Seems like a great tool, except it also seconds as a maraca. So come along, let's get to reviewing. Okay, here we go. These are the two screwdrivers we're gonna be talking about today. We got the Code Blue from Channel Lock and we got the Professional from Channel Lock. Okay, let's talk about my old trusty first because this is what I use a lot. You guys see these in my videos. I mean, I have a lot of these around my house. I really like them. This is actually the 61CB. This is a relatively cheap six in one screwdriver. Like really for the money, I like this bang. This is good bang for your buck in my opinion, right? It's got a nice ergonomic grip. It is made in China, but it's made to channel locks top standards and they make good tools, right? I don't think they're gonna put out crap. That's just me, right? We've got a chrome shank here bits you can see they're they're old they're getting a little crusty but that's what bits do another feature that i really like about this kobo is that it actually has this metal piece on the back side and you can see i've actually banged on this a few times i use my screwdrivers as a chisel a lot a six and one is no exception honestly just sometimes it's needed so let's get a quick measurement here see what we got there so this one comes in about seven and a quarter. And this one, I think it's about an inch longer. Yep, comes in about eight and a quarter. So these both actually come with the same size bits. So I'm just gonna show you the bits on this newer one because you can actually see the writing a little bit better. And I'll show you. So these bits are actually zinc coated as well. These are made in the USA and quarter inch and P2, so it's a number two size uh, Phillips head right here. And you can see that actually says it's made in the USA. Oh yeah. And that is a 5 16 nut driver. This side is a quarter inch nut driver. This is a heat treated steel shank, right? With a black oxide coating on it to kind of be corrosion resistant. You can see this is a 3 16 This is a P1. Once again, made in the USA, and that is a quarter inch nut driver. Real handy little tool, right? So solid plastic handle. It's got a little metal piece in here where this sticks down here. The one thing that I noticed about this right away, and I showed it to you a second ago, was this that's gonna annoy me that and i don't know that i like this being so shiny and seeing the inside it looks like i'm looking at a lot of perfections in the inside of that tube and i don't know what do you guys think is that a that a deal breaker for you you don't really hear anything out of that and i like that it i don't know why but i think that sound of me clacking my screwdriver is gonna annoy me after a little while so I'm gonna let you guys decide. Leave me some comments, tell me what you think. Okay, so for the sake of demonstration, I've got an old drywall screw here and we'll use the number two bit, which is the Phillips, the, the larger Phillips to get down in there. You can see that, that kind of just makes a nice little tight seal. You know, you can tell the smaller side right there is not gonna be as good in there. It's actually a little loose inside of there, so. Go with the bigger side 
and I'm actually just gonna pick one of these holes right here. But it's good. I mean, I just like the bigger handle. So I've never used this one before. Slip that around. Both of these actually are really easy for these things to pop out, to switch out. You really will have no problem. It's nice. So. That is nice too, right? It's got a good little comfort feel to it. I guess being smaller there actually does really allow you to grab and torque on this a little bit more. Let me just try this one more time. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know which one I like better, right? Because this one kind of has a ball right there that kind of fits right in the palm of your hand and you're able to go with that. Whereas this one does not have that, but it does feel pretty good in your hand whenever you're gripping and turning. I don't know. We'll have to use this one for a little bit longer and see. All right, folks, there you have it. Both styles of channel lock six and one screwdrivers, right? The code blue, the professional. I don't know. I feel I've just been trying to go back and forth and debate what I like the best, and I feel like I'm still hooked on this code blue. I think that I really like the ergonomic handle. I think because my hand's a little bit bigger, it just fits better. It is definitely a bigger screwdriver, right? We've seen that. And not to knock this at all, but that noise is gonna drive me crazy eventually. I'm positive of that. So this is what we're rocking. And I love your thoughts. Leave me some comments down in the description box. Let me know what you think. Do you own this screwdriver? Does yours do this too? Or is it just a fluke thing? All the subscribers that just won this screwdriver, please use it. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about it. All right? I really hope you folks enjoy the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon.